Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. It is 6.30 in the a.m. on the 22nd. I am so giddy. I feel so crusty. I am, I've been sweating for like the last six hours. Well, four, almost five hours. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. It is so. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, listen to me. Okay, I'm freaking out right now because I just finished reading Highly Suspicious and I'm Fairly Cute by Talia Hibbert. I think, listen, if you already know me, you already know, I think love is so gross. I think love is so gross. I think it's disgusting. I think it's nasty. <laughs> and yet, I'm literally so excited. I'm literally so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so giddy. I'm also so sleep deprived because <clears throat> uh, I've been reading for like the last almost five hours because I'm in the middle of like a personal um, 24 hour reading challenge and I'm not making a video about it even though I really could but anyway I literally just cranked out five hours and finished the rest of this book I'm so oh my god <laughs> I'm so giddy. I'm literally so giddy. I'm grossed out. This book had me literally laughing out loud and I was doing everything I could not to be loud because I feel things, I tend to feel things deeply and I take things personally, but when I enjoy something, I do my best to express it. I really also really hope you can understand everything I'm saying right now because I'm really talking really fast and I'm really excited. So, like, the Kentucky accent's coming out. The North Carolina accent is coming out. The California accent is coming out. I... Oh. Okay. <laughs> I need to calm down. Literally, literally, listen. Listen, so this is Celine, okay? And this is Bradley. Celine... She is everything that I wish I was when I was 17. Literally, she's a badass black woman who is into conspiracy theories and literally hates. You know what? Maybe I can't say that because that could be a spoiler. But anyway, she doesn't trust people. She doesn't like people. I relate. Um, she has daddy issues. I also, yeah, I relate to that. But I love my father. Dad, we'll talk about it later. Um, <laughs> and this is Bradley, okay? Bradley, he's a bisexual. Bradley's bisexual. <laughs> and we love him. We love Bradley. We love him. He feels things so deeply. And they're so, mm, look at this height difference. Can you see that? Oh my, oh goals goals literally that's that is such a great height difference as well it's like one head difference Ooh, mm, spicy so oh my goodness everything from their banter listen so when i first was reading this book actually i started reading this book on the first of november when, november and i then went on an out-of-state trip and law and pretty much I fell into a reading slump pretty much uh during the trip and then I tried to get out of my reading slump and start a new book which oh I'm actually pointing to it right now it's like right there <laughs> it's like right there um which I think I'm gonna try and finish today too but and then I started a new book trying to get out of my reading slump and then it just didn't happen and then I remembered OMG you know you have that thing where most likely it's like some type of like I don't know if it's a mental thing or if I've done this to myself but where if I've started something I really have to finish it so 
or I like things to be in order and I like things to be neat. And yes, of course, I want to have my own garden one day so that I can put my hands in some dirt, but I don't want to get dirty right now. So that's not happening. So with books, I like things to be in order. So I like to read in order and then when I can't read it in order, I feel really discombobulated and I feel like I'm not doing something right. I don't know, unless it's, I don't know what that's about. Um, But this was so good. This was so good. Oh my gosh, Talia Hibbert. A part of me wants to now read everything that she's read, that she's read, everything that she's written. Like, even though I think everything else it does mention a couple, a few other books that of hers in the back of this book. I don't know if they got anything to do with Bradley and Celine, but listen. So when I started this book, okay, I was kind of just like, "This is kind of gross. This is ooh, like why are they talking to each other like that? Like, come on, babe, come on, come on, babe, come on." And then, so what had happened was literally dog i how long have i been reading this book i think i've been reading this book for a good long while today i don't even know um <laughs> literally i've been reading this since la yesterday evening yesterday afternoon i can't even tell you i can't even i really can't tell you honestly the entire 200 pages, the last 200 pages is a blur, but all I know is this book had me laughing out loud. This book had me literally wishing I could turn back the hands of time to the good old days when I didn't have to pay bills, <laughs> to the days when I was a senior in high school and I wish I could go back, a part of me wishes I could go back and experience something like this, but then I think to myself, it really wasn't a wonderful world <laughs> when I was in high school. So, and also I'm thinking, who would I even have this with? I can think of maybe two people my senior year of high school that I could have had that with. I could have, I really could have. Like literally me and my best friend, we could be related at this point if I would have went after. There's a, there's, there's one, there's one young man in particular that I'm thinking of who really gives me Bradley energy. Like, their banter, their banter, I can think of somebody right now that really gave me banter like that in high school. I still think he's so cute. I'm friends with him on Facebook. Anyway, but literally, see, oh, except the guy, the boy that I went to high school with, he's not a bisexual, so... Anyway, <laughs> that's not important. Um, Bradley, we love Bradley. We love Celine. Bradley is so sweet, and ugh, what can I? I'm I'm wanting to say things, but I also don't want to spoil it in case anybody. I also don't like pink. I don't like pink, but I am so obsessed. I'm obsessed. Literally, my heart is racing. I'm literally sweating. My head hurts right now, but that's because I really need to go to bed and I don't think I'm going to go to sleep, which I really should go to sleep, honestly, because I need to calm down and maybe drink some water or something to chill out. Also, I want to read the acknowledgments, but I'll do that after we're done talking. Um, oh, also, what's up, family? How you doing? Uh, and if you're, if this is your first video of, that you're seeing of me, I am so sorry. <laughs> I am so sorry. I am literally delirious. It is 6.39 in the a.m. I, I, you know what? Actually, I don't even apologize. I don't know what to tell you. You kind of just showed up at not a great time, <laughs> but you know what? You showed up exactly when you needed to boo, so that's okay. <clears throat> I really hope I'm really thinking to myself I'm really hoping that my phone is picking up my voice right now I'm really hoping you're able to hear everything I'm saying uh because I'm talking really fast and I'm starting to get attention headache so final thoughts <laughs> 
Final thoughts, this book was banging, okay? This book was so good. I, literally, like I said, literally just cranked out almost five hours just to fit, cause, cause literally, y'all, listen, I got to a point where I could not stop reading. Like I was just, I kept hitting points where I was just like, okay, I think I'm, I think I, I think I should stop. I think I should stop. You know what? No, I want to read 10 more. I'll read 10 more pages. Mm, no, I'll read 10 more pages. Mm. You know what? No, let's just finish this chapter. I, I was doing that literally for the last five hours. And, and now we're done. I'm so proud of myself. This was so good. And it's so, oh, they were so cute. I literally thought it was so cute. And it's so character development for both of them. So proud of them. And, oh, literally did I already, I already said that but literally Celine Celine is everything that I wish I was when I was in high, my in high school literally they're both badasses who don't give a frick about what anybody says or thinks of them even though a part of them does care but then they remind themselves um hello I'm a badass. Like, why do I care what you have to say? You got your problems. I don't know why you coming up on my turf trying to mess up my yard and things of that nature. And then they've been friends for so long. See, that's what also... <clears throat> they were childhood besties. And, I, girl, even Marie, you're about to start spoiling stuff. Anyways, I just... Ugh. This book just makes me kind of want to go outside of my comfort zone and like go camping with a whole bunch of like random people and then maybe fall in love. But then also there's a possibility that I could get kidnapped and I kind of don't want that for myself. You know, I don't think that's the, I don't think that's the will of a source, you know, I don't think that's the will for my life. And I should see, ooh, this book makes me want to move to England as well. Literally makes me want to move to England. She lives in England. Oh, wait, hold on. Who lives in the English Midlands? Does that mean that she lives in England? I don't know what that means. I'm literally American. I, I've never been outside of the country. I don't know. This book was written for teens. <laughs> I'm 25. This literally, this literally tapped into my inner teenager so hard. And I'm just so appreciative of this book. Now I'm starting to get sleepy. And I'm just so appreciative. I'm so appreciative of this book. This book was so much fun. This book was so much fun. So much fun. And I want to read it again right now. I really do. Did I highlight anything? I don't even think I did like I just thought it was so good and also ooh, I'm thinking about revamping my book journal so uh when the new Gregorian year starts I'm really thinking about doing a rating system for maybe two months maybe a month at least 30 days I'm thinking about doing a rating system I saw a rating system uh, on a book journal flip through on YouTube and I thought it was so cool and I don't know we'll see because I kind of don't like rating books but then at the same time I kind of already like I already rate books kind of just not with a number system but I enjoyed this I enjoyed this I did not think I was going to enjoy this book I really didn't I didn't think I was going to enjoy it and I did I enjoyed it so hard it was so good. It was so good. Literally, so so we've already talked. His name is Brad. Her name is Celine. Ugh, I just think they're both they are both was so cute. I want to go back and read some of the really cute things that Bradley said. And Celine, ugh, I just you know what? I can't even I don't even need to go back. I'm not going back. Because it was just it was just so I enjoyed it so much. I enjoyed my time. I enjoyed my time. I did. At first I didn't. 
can you hold the girl hold the book please at first i didn't enjoy my time and then <laughs> at first i didn't enjoy it and then it got good and then i couldn't put it down and it was just so cute i thought it was so cute i was flying through these pages too like the hours didn't even feel like hours i'm delirious i need to go to bed at least for a couple hours oh god yep that's time that's the time to go ahead and cut it out so i just finished highly suspicious and unfairly cute by talia hibbert listen in conclusion this book was the shit and i enjoyed it so much so and i also am so thankful for you for being here i'm thankful that you are alive thank you so much for watching this video and i hope you're drinking your water and um sorry <clears throat> and yeah thank you bye <laughs>